with the GoCurrency.com sports ticker. I'm Tim Mulhaupt on the Huskers Radio Network. Happy Tuesday, Huskers fans. Welcome into another episode of Sports Nightly. We'll cross the pond to Greg and Jessica in hour one tonight, then hear from Coach John Cook on the Nebraska Volleyball Radio Show in hour two. And let's take a look at some news items of the day first. New Nebraska women's gymnastic coach was announced today, and that's volunteer assistant coach Marissa King. King was a 2008 Olympian for Great Britain before becoming a national champion gymnast and an 11-time All-American at the University of Florida. She spent time the last two years as a choreographer and club's gymnastic coach in Birmingham, Alabama and Austin, Texas, while also being a gymnast analyst for ESPN and the SEC Network last year. Welcome aboard, Marissa. Nebraska women's basketball season tickets went on sale this morning at 10 a.m. for the upcoming 2022-23 campaign. Check out Huskers.com for more. Elsewhere in women's college basketball today, ABC announced that they will broadcast the Division I College Basketball Women's National Championship for the first time this year. That's set for April 2nd, 2023, with a tip-off at 4 p.m. Central Time. And in college football today, Alabama head coach Nick Saban received a contract extension from Alabama that extends his deal through the end of the 2030 season. It's reported to be worth an average of $11.7 million per year, topping Georgia head coach Kirby Smart's mega deal signed earlier this offseason worth $11.2 $11.2 million per season. In pro sports in the NBA today, after a tenuous offseason, Brooklyn Nets superstar forward Kevin Durant has, quote, agreed to move forward together with the Nets for a statement released by Nets general manager Sean Marks earlier today. Durant had requested a trade out of Brooklyn earlier this summer, but has four years left on his current contract. In the MLB, owner Artie Moreno, that is of the Angels, Los Angeles Angels has started the formal process to explore the possibility of selling the team. This according to an official statement he released earlier today. He's owned the team since 2003. This update is presented by Currency. Does your business need help financing big ticket items like equipment, trucks, and trailers? Currency is here to help. Visit GoCurrency.com for details. That's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelm, and Sports Nightly is next on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. It's a pistol set, then trees, trips to the near side. Snap back, stretch play right to Cook, hit and drop. He'll lose yardage. Garrett One. Nelson. Garrett Nelson firing from the backside, brings him down. It's a loss of two it's now fourth down and three Alex Rodriguez floats it over pass by Eagleson tight to the net gets it back swings block back Nebraska's got three blocks Lucy Krause the night of her life so far it's 13-9 big red snap back play action taking a shot throw and pass caught by Manning at the 10 eludes a bottom maker to the five one more Manning dives touchdown Nebraska light diving dig Hampton the libero now Penn State right front Johnny Parker greeted up by Rodriguez left front swing Manning Kubik kill 23-13, Lexi Rodriguez, a clinic thus far. Buster's second and goal to six. Two wideouts left, two to the near side. Ramir Johnson off to the right. They turn, give it off to Ramir, left side, cuts back at the five. He's in, touchdown, Nebraska. Ramir Johnson's third rushing touchdown of the year. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Well, good evening from Ireland. We have made it to Dublin, and boy, I felt all day, Jessica, that and Jessica's showing off the stadium. It's right over her shoulder. We're at the Sandy Mount Hotel, which is about two blocks from Aviva Stadium, and I felt all day that I'm in a foreign country. Yeah, but because we're driving on the wrong side of the road, uh-huh. for one. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's 3 o'clock. It's the, the yeah. time difference is crazy. We didn't get any sleep. And, uh, you know, there's accents around here. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It does feel like we're in a foreign yeah. country. And that's as good as I can do on this <laughs> lack of sleep. So, do, if so you didn't sleep well on the plane? No. Just a little bit here, a little bit there. So. Yeah, same. Uh, yeah, so my jokes will not be nearly as funny tonight. <laughs> but we are here. The team is here. We had a little bit of a delay getting out of Omaha last time. But, I, you know, I, on, on the whole, Jessica, I thought – the way the TSA was lined up in Omaha, they got everybody through the checkpoints really quick. Here, when we came through customs, it was really slick. I think they've done a really good job, and I'm talking about the uh, the ops people for Nebraska football have done a good job on this. Oh, absolutely, even from just – how you boarded the plane. I mean, everything from start to finish has been just so um, strategic and it has been on point and it's moved well. And we heard Coach Frost talking about the team and, and how well they've been. This is 
So much planning, so much planning, so much stress has gone into this, and so far it's gone off seamlessly, and, and it was completely out of their control, the, the little bit of plane issues. But other than that, I mean, even still, if you think about it, if you would have had to fly out otherwise, you still would have been just as long, if not longer, because you would have had to have a layover and all of that. And, and But it, it went by pretty smoothly, and it was pretty neat being at the um, – you know, at the airport with the team kind of rolling in and kind of getting to see them interact again in a different way. You, you see them and you hear them talking about how much fun they have, but then I'm sitting right there in the middle of the running backs and how much fun they're having with Coach Applewhite and, and giving um, Yant and, and Anthony Grant a hard time because they're buying candy at the store. You know, it's just it was fun to see their camaraderie and uh, chatted with A.J. Allen for a while. What a nice kid. I mean, like as much as we've raved about his talent, just, uh, you know, getting to visit with him for a little bit, first time getting to talk with him. So, yeah, that was that was a fun experience, and then just they seemed to be excited and handling it as you would expect. And and uh, I know they had a workout earlier this morning, and then they'll get back to full, I guess, uh, practice mode and all that, and game prep mode coming up tomorrow. You you drugged up, so you slept okay. Yes, I took some melatonin. <laughs> I didn't sleep okay, that's for sure. I, I mean, I just I don't sleep well on a plane, and I'm like. I have bad knees. My knees start to cramp. You know, yeah. I'm like, those ACL surgeries do not do me well on planes. I get cramped up. I was right by the bathroom, so people were going, you know, to the bathroom and all that. And um, it was freezing cold, which, come to find out, they have to do that because when you're in the air for so long, your body temperature, people pass out, basically, if you don't keep it cold. Right. So I was freezing on top of that. So Maybe blankets. They had green blankets. Uh, yeah, they were like a sheet. They were very thin. So yeah. um, I will sleep well tonight and I'll I'll kind of be on the schedule with the team I'll go to bed tonight and then try to get back up and get back on that schedule tomorrow folks what was really cool is when Nebraska came to the airport here in Dublin yes they had a separate line in customs for the Husker team to go through so the other passengers who had arrived in Dublin were in in the queue as they call it and it was a pretty lengthy queue there was a ton of Husker fans, yeah. and they started Go Big Red chants. And Husker, and Husker Power, Power yes. Chants. I think they had just arrived from Dallas. Dallas or Chicago they had just landed from. That was so cool, and I know the team felt like, wow, this is really cool. Well, And, and you got to think there's a lot of players that are traveling here, part of this team, that have that's their first experience at something like yes. that. And so they were probably overwhelmed. I was in front of a player that hadn't been here before, and they were just kind of overwhelmed by it and, and like – in awe of it and you know yeah so absolutely i was on a radio show earlier and they were asking me about what's the ratio going to be i'm like right now it is no doubt husker <laughs> is when the husker fans are winning because at the airport and then you've seen tweets from the local media that are here covering they've been on flights that have absolutely been dominated by husker fans so so far absolutely the huskers are winning out in the fan department which nobody is surprised about by any means but just the fact that again you get there and you hear the go big red chants and and that, that was neat for sure and i ran into a couple of former huskers who are here on tours uh, kenny bell who were couldn't miss that hair anywhere yeah he was right there and then steve Tater was with him, and I go, okay, guys, we want you to try to come by Buskers because that's where we're going to be the next two nights. And they're like, well, we're not sure when we get back because they're off. They're going to yeah. go play golf out other places around Ireland and not staying here in Dublin. But uh, it was great to see them. And there are just – I think there's a lot of people throughout the country right now that are wearing red, and they're over here for a week or so. Yeah, we've heard that there's already been some groups coming in and, and flew in a little bit earlier and, and experiencing the whole country, which, again, is what this – group one when they had this game and it's not just it's not for the people here in Ireland they're a part of it absolutely and there will be a lot of Ireland uh, people that go to this game just for the intrigue and they are just rabid sports fans they like all sports but this is to help invest into the economy here in in Dublin and in Ireland um, they were hit so hard by COVID and so you know it's it's to hopefully welcome in a new group of people that might not have come to Ireland otherwise and give them an experience of, of what it's like here and there's a lot of things to do all across the island it's beautiful we saw it flying in, and, um, you know, there's lots of golf. It, beautiful weather today. 72. Right? I yeah, mean, yeah. it feels great. And so um, we'll see. Again, you have to wake up each day and see what the weather is like from day to day. But right now it's absolutely beautiful. And so just, again, give fans from other teams and, and from overseas a chance to come here and experience Ireland. And, and hopefully they, you know, they plan to roll out the carpet for both teams. Yeah, and, and Northwestern is not here till tomorrow. So the Huskers have a 24-hour jump on the Cats. So when we landed, got through customs, the team actually came to the stadium. They walked into the stadium and then put T-shirts and shorts on and went out to the practice field and just did some running just to get the blood kind of pumping through them. They didn't put the pads on or anything like that today. Yeah, just got a feel for the stadium, got a – 
you know, I think, too, it's probably trying to keep them awake. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, you kind of have things to do throughout the day so that you go to bed tonight and get a normal rest leading into, okay, let's get back to work tomorrow because this is a designated off day. And so, you know, you're not going full speed at practice, but, hey, you get off that flight, get your legs underneath you, get the blood flowing a little bit, but also stay awake. Don't go sleep all day so that you can go to sleep tonight and get your body on the clock here, which is six hours ahead. So they'll have a full-blown practice tomorrow, a lot of install on Northwestern, a lot of cleaning up the game plan, and then both coordinators are going to meet with the media after practice tomorrow, and I think they're going to have some players available tomorrow as well. There is a big team dinner tonight that they'll have, and as Jessica mentioned, after that, it's to bed, put your – Head on a pillow and go to sleep. I'm, I'm planning on I, doing that. Same. I was thinking that sounds really good right now. All right. Uh, so here on the program tonight, we're going to hear uh, the latest edition from the Jeremiah Searles podcast coming up. Get his thoughts about this opener. The Sideline Slice latest edition is out, uh, presented by Valentino's. Yes, he dives into it. He just he, he interrupted me a couple times just because he's so excited that it's game week. You know, <laughs> the, uh, Jeremiah, the Jeremiah energy for game week is back on this edition of the Sideline Slice. So, yes, we will bring you a portion of that. That's coming up here in just a few minutes. Hour two, we'll hand it back to the folks in Lincoln as John Bader, John Cook will be in for the Husker Volleyball Show in hour two. They open this weekend, two matches Friday, one match Saturday, so their season will start actually before the football season starts on Friday. So if you got some volleyball questions and comments ready for JB and Coach Cook, uh, that'll be coming up in hour number two. As Jessica mentioned, beautiful day, low 70s, light breeze, it's just real, and uh, he, uh, we were checking in the hotel, and then the guy checking in says, "Yeah, it's really hot here today." I'm like, yeah, this, "This isn't hot, but it feels good." <laughs> yeah, right. That's it. Uh, when I was asking one of the girls that we had uh, interacted with that are helping plan this, she's like, "It's warm, you know, like so." I, you wear shorts in the 70s. I'm like, "Wait, 70s is warm to you? Uh, warm to me is like." 87, you know, hot is in the 90s and 100s. <laughs> warm is 80s. Yeah. Um, but warm here apparently is a high 60s, you know, um, low 70s. But it does. It feels absolutely. It's beautiful. In fact, we're sitting outside. We're out in front of our hotel here. And so I, I think rain's coming in watching. tonight, though. Yeah. Well, it pretty much rains about every day. Yep, you know, some, yep. some kind of rain. So a beautiful day. Great to this trip for the Huskers. They're here. Uh, made it safely. Uh, I think they were having some fun, as Jessica is letting the folks on our YouTube stream take a look at the same. I think they were having some fun with Marcus Washington when we got on the plane last night. Apparently he has a history of losing things, so they acted like he lost his passport when they actually – So that was a joke? Oh, yes. Okay, okay, that was funny because – so you hear, yes, we have a player that and lost he, their passport, he, and if, he, if, it, he, if he doesn't have go. his passport, he can't travel. And someone in the back said, "We got to find that passport." <laughs> so uh, you know, and I don't. Again, I don't know if that was if they were in on the joke, but somebody was like, "Hey, we, that's we that's a, that's a passport we got to find." Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I thought that was, <laughs> no, that was real a setup. because, and then everybody's like. Oh, Marcus, because, okay, it makes it all make sense now. It yeah. all makes sense. I was, uh, I missed, I missed that, that that was a joke. Uh, but, again, that kind of is the flavor <laughs> of this team, right? It's kind of what this team has been about for the absolutely, last month. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it's just everything that you get a chance to experience, you know, I mean, just yesterday the conversation with Caleb Tanner, hey, can I sit down, you know, and then, uh, you know, we're just having a fun conversation and, and they're giving Coach Ross a hard time about the coin flip and they think they have some say-so now and they're going to make some push for that. But <laughs> it's literally every interaction that you have, you realize how, you know, you get a different glimpse of how much fun this team is to be around. And I just, I've said it from last spring, how much I enjoy covering and being around this football team. They have a lot of different personalities that are all seem to be meshing very well together right now. Hey, our Sports Sunday Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com at a time with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. All right, we're back with the latest edition of A Slice from the Sidelines. Jeremiah Searles, that's coming up next. Do you want your date to wait for your interlock device to let you drive? your kids to ask why you have an ankle bracelet, or your boss to see your criminal history? Do you want to miss important life events because of house arrest? Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office.
The name of our new promotion says it all. Powerball First Millionaire of the Year. Through September 12th, buy a Powerball with PowerPlay ticket at any Nebraska Lottery retailer and enter the voucher number to win a trip to New York City for New Year's Eve on December 31st, 2022. Plus, you'll also get a chance to win $1 million and become the Powerball First Millionaire of 2023. Remember, this promotion ends on September 12th, so plan ahead and play today. Powerball top prize odds one in $292 million. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. There is no place like Nebraska, and there is no place that treats you like your home like Sap Brothers. For over 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and has been a reliable partner to local farms, businesses, and Huskers fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your farming equipment, and welcoming guests into our travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Thanks for calling Toyota. This is Jan. How can I help? Hi, thanks for telling my family and me about Toyota's national sales event. Oh, you're welcome. We got a new RAV4 during the event, and it's been great. Well, that makes me happy. Right now through September 6th, it is the best time to drive off in a new Camry Hybrid, Tacoma, and more. So what are you up to? You know, we took the RAV4 to a great spot. We've hiked, rafted, and now we're exploring a cave. Amazing. You're inside a cave right now? Yep. 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 Well, I'm glad the RAV4 could make it all happen. Yeah, my wife talked me into spelunking. I'm actually a complete and absolute amateur. An absolute amateur. An absolute amateur. Huh, I could have done without the echo on that. Toyota's national sales event is on. Visit your participating Toyota dealer today to enjoy every last second of summer. Toyota, let's go places. See your participating Toyota dealer for details. Dealer inventory may vary. Event ends September 6th. Seasons change, but your land stays the same. You need the right solutions to keep you moving. That's why you rely on Acres Equipment, your premier John Deere dealership and proud partner of Nebraska Athletics. Whether you're harvesting, protecting your crops, feeding the herd, maintaining your lawn, improving your business, or letting off some steam, Acres has what you need to get the job done. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. Every day, Central Valley Ag Cooperative works with our farmers to feed the globe. Embracing the cooperative spirit, CVA's innovative products and services in grain, agronomy, feed, and energy deliver world-class value to our members. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Learn how we grow agriculture together at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. At CHI Health Clinic, we believe healthcare should be personal because knowing your provider personally makes appointments more comfortable, more productive, and more meaningful to your overall health. Get matched with a primary care provider based on your personality and lifestyle using CHI Health Clinic's My Provider Match. Take the survey at myprovidermatch.com to find the right provider for you. Getting healthier starts by getting personal at CHI Health Clinic. Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. 
right outside of Aviva Stadium here in Dublin. The Oscars are, are in town and getting ready for their season opener on Saturday, 1130 Central Time, 530 over here in Dublin uh, for the game against the Wildcats of Northwestern. And back again to do a weekly podcast with you this season, Jeremiah Searles. Yes, so uh, the Sideline Slice Episode 3, but our very first game week, obviously, edition, and, and Searles was quite fired up. So here is a portion of the Sideline Slice presented by Valentino's, the official pizza of the Huskers. When you're Mark Whipple going into this, and again, we haven't been to all the practices, mm-hmm. we don't know, but what, what do you think his game plan, his approach to this game will be with this offense? I don't know, <laughs> and it's really hard for me to sit here and go, uh-huh. I don't know what our identity is. You know, I have, I've only been able to go to the one practice, and you know, when you look at it, it's like, okay, there's a couple options here. One, do we try and get QB1 in a rhythm early with the quick passing game, with the slants, with the hooks, with the play action, quick shots to Vokalek and Palmer and whoever, you know, just try and get him in a rhythm because he's brand new too. It's not like you have Adrian back there who you know what you're going to get. So do we want to start him off right? Or do we want to come out and be like, hey, beef feeders up front, let's set the tone for the season, let's pound the rock, let's, hey, let's get efficient runs, let's get moving up and down the field, let's blow these guys off the ball. Or is it like kind of like, hey, let's just throw the frickin' bomb at these dudes right away. Reverses, unbalanced, and wild formations, five wide, four by one. Like, it could be one of any of those things. And I think that's something that I'm gonna be looking for in the first quarter is like, okay, what were the first 25 scripted plays? Everyone scripts your first 25 plays. College, NFL, everyone. That will be very telling of what this offense is going to look like going forward because those 25 plays should be the best 25 plays that they practice from spring to fall camp Mm. into the game day. Interesting. All right, well, when we're talking Northwestern, I know where you're going to want to start, right there up front (laughs) with the offensive line. And uh, Peter Skaronsky, who is one of the best, if not the best, tackle in college football, is he as good as advertised? Yes, he's he's phenomenal. You know, he's a phenomenal. He might be OT1 um, coming off the board for the 2023 NFL draft. Wish he would call me back. Um, (laughs) But, you know, I think he's an extremely talented player. You know, and they have a really good pedigree of springing good players out, right? I mean, Rashawn Slater was there just two years ago, and he was an all-pro as a rookie in the NFL last year. So they have a very good O-line coach. They have a very good development program there for players because none of those guys are five-star recruits when they get there. But they've developed them so well through the weight room and the way that they play that they're coming out. So, yeah, he's a very good player. And, you know, that's exciting for me because it's really going to give me a chance to see what Garrett Nelson, Caleb Tanner, and those guys on the edge are really made of. You know, it's like, hey, go against this guy and see, and we'll see how big of a jump you made from last year to this year, and you'll get to test your medal against one of the best of the best right away. To me, that's that's the the matchup, that's the key matchup because it's that's their strength because they've got four guys coming back, a lot of uh, experience on that offensive line, perhaps their most dependable, most experienced unit mm-hmm. on that football team. But then on the flip side of that, we've heard how good those edge guys are for Nebraska and how good they've been with O'Shawn Mathis, in addition to get, uh, Garrett Nelson and Caleb Tanner, and then the depth that they've been able to add on the defensive line. So how do you go about, I mean, how important is that battle in the trenches and, and being able to match what Northwestern's physicality that they're going to bring? Yeah, you know, a lot of it's going to depend on what Chin's game plan is, right? Does Chin's want to just, hey, we we're relying on you guys up front to get to the quarterback right which is what we need to get to as a defense we cannot rely on sending Reimer or sending whoever the new Jojo Doman is off the nickel and trying to scheme up ways to get pressure on the quarterback we need to be able to look at the guys up front and be like hey Ty Robinson Garrett Nelson Caleb Tanner Mathis all you dudes get to the quarterback right don't make us send pressure win your one-on-one matchups get after these dudes and let us play coverage on the back end and make this quarterback make a mistake and then we can take advantage of it so that's why i want to see if those those guys are gonna be like hey we got this chins you do your thing on the back end and then when it's crunch time dial up something fun right dial up the pressure that you're so good at doing we saw him do last year so i'm really excited to look at that matchup up front but at the same time if you're northwestern you're like how do we neutralize that it's the quick passing game Mm -hmm. how do you neutralize how do you frustrate a defensive line the quick passing game a la purdue last year right o'connell came in here or o'connell whatever his name is came in here and completed like 48 passes right and none of them were for 60 70 yards it was eight yards four yards six yards just dink and dunk and that frustrates a defensive lineman to no end because you have no shot by the time you got your third step in the ground the ball's out so, you know, it's got to be tight coverage on the back end, getting up in these guys' faces, pressing them. Tommy Hill, Quentin Newsom, all these dudes, like, get up there, challenge these guys early, and give your front a chance to actually get to the quarterback and affect his feet. So, with Northwestern, Ryan Helensky was oh, the starter. Oh, it's game week. Let's go. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> That's funny. So Ryan Alinsky was their starter last year. Mm-hmm. They did not have a good year offensively. No. I mean, they were one of the worst, not just in the Big Ten, but in the country. But he's been in a quarterback battle, whereas North, uh, Nebraska has named their starter. Northwestern has not, but he's played most of the football. And then they have Brendan Sullivan, who's the redshirt freshman that they say has had a really good spring. So how do you go about that, not knowing which quarterback you're going to see? You know, I don't think it really matters mm-hmm. um, what quarterback you see there. It's not like we're talking about Kane Coulter, who was just such an electric athlete mm-hmm. that he could run all over the field, right? These are very much Trevor Simeon type guys, game managers. But the difference is, if you have a quarterback back there that just doesn't make mistakes and doesn't turn the ball over, Coach Fitzgerald is so good at being able to bounce back from bad years to good years that I'm not writing anything off for this team, right? Coach Fitzgerald has made a career out of, hey, we have a three and nine team and then the next year we're nine and three and we're playing in the Big Ten Championship, right? They know how to respond and they know how to bounce back and grow. So yeah, the quarterback position is really important, but I don't think it's a it's not something I'm super concerned about right. some guy, some new guy coming on the scene and just blowing the doors off like Kane Coulter did when he came in here, I think in 2011, when all of a sudden we're like, who the hell is this guy? And he's just <laughs> running up and down the field, right? Mm-hmm. I don't think they have that kind of electric athlete at quarterback. The difference will be, can this guy deliver the ball on time and can he deliver the ball well? But I do think they're going to probably try and establish the run a little bit more and take some pressure off of those guys, which makes it even that much more important for the Husker offense to get a lead and make him get back there and have to throw the ball 15 to 30 times this game. Let me ask you this, because, I mean, again, you move from season to season, but those players that came here into Lincoln last year and were embarrassed, will they remember that? Absolutely. Are they remembering that going into this game? There's, I mean, Coach Fitzgerald, if you guys remember, he was fired up on that sideline. He was mad. There was some stuff going on between defense and offense that he was not happy about. And he'll remember that. You know, he he may forgive, but I don't think he forgets. (laughs) You know, and none of those teams forget. You don't remember you don't forget those as a player. You don't. I will never forget getting dirt stomped by Wisconsin 70 to whatever in the Big Ten championship. I will never forget some of the blowout losses we have because those are the ones that sit and stick with you for a long time. So this offensive line for Northwestern, particularly, who did not play well Mm -hmm. against Nebraska last year. They will remember that, and they will have a little extra chip on their shoulder and a little extra fire. But at the same time, there's also that little bit of doubt, that little bit of doubt of the, oh, boy, this could happen again, right? Like, you try and creep that away, but it doesn't never just go away. It's important Nebraska makes that doubt a reality early in this football game. Okay, so on the flip side of that, and, you know, there's – Northwestern does have some some key pieces back on their defense, but they're also filling some some holes that they Mm -hmm. lost players. But, again – you know what you're going to get with Northwestern. So for this offensive line for Nebraska, that's got some new players, some guys that have a little bit of experience, some that are in new roles, all of that. What's the key for them in this first game? Well, first of all, is don't vomit. <laughs> um, I don't want to see them vomiting 10 to 15 times on the field. So that'll be key number one. The second one is just establish a physicality that the rest of the Big Ten is going to see. You know, everyone's going to watch this game. Like you said, it's week zero. But everyone's going to watch this game on the Big Ten side in the film room. The Mm all-22, the all-telling, where you cannot hide, is going to get broadcasted against the entire Big Ten and across the whole country because everyone's going to look and say, what is the new Husker offense? And everyone starts with, well, the guys up front. Are they running off the ball? Are they getting after guys? What's their technique like? What's their? This is their first showing. This is your first impression. You only get one first impression in football, and it's week zero or week one. And so for this Husker offensive line, they need to come out and set the tone for what they want to be respected as going through the rest of the season. Or is it going to be more of the same of last year? And it can't be. It just physically can't be what it was last year. It has to be better. And I think it will be better. But at the same time, like you said, until you do it on Saturdays, it's just a giant question mark. Yeah, and and for offenses and new offenses and new players, it typically takes some time to get clicking on all cylinders. I don't think, I mean, Hopefully they are, but I don't think it's going to be an offense that comes right out of the gate and is just full go, full throttle. So that being said, when it might take a couple weeks, three weeks or so to get that offense rolling, is there more pressure on the defense? I mean, like, yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, and notoriously throughout all of football, even the NFL, defenses tend to seem to have the advantage the first few weeks. Because it is. It just takes offenses longer to get in a rhythm versus defenses are just blind dogs and meat houses, right? See ball, (laughs) sick ball. That's all they got to do. Like offensive is much more schematic of how things work. And it just takes a little bit more time to find that flow or find that rhythm. And so, yeah, it is pressure on the defense, which is why I said earlier is how important it is for us to get a lead and put that pressure on Northwestern versus we don't want to have that pressure like we did against Illinois last year. Yeah. Right. Like against Illinois last year, we were behind. And so now we're trying to throw the ball over the place and there's new receivers and new timing and all that. You just don't 
don't want to put that pressure on, especially a new quarterback right away. You want to be able to say, hey, let's get the lead and then rely on our big dudes up front to establish the run because that's how you win in this league. It's, it's, I mean, it's a tale as old a time in the Big Ten. Get the lead, establish the run, control the clock, control the field position in the second half, walk away with the victory. Give me your three keys. Yeah, you know, my three keys um, the, on defensive side of the ball is you got to have two plus takeaways. Okay. I think I think two plus takeaways in this game ices this game. You know, ices it. So that's number one. Takeaway is there. Um, special teams just be efficient. Be efficient on special teams. Just no again, negative. No place. negatives. I don't even care if there's a ton of positives. Just efficiency right. on special teams. And then the last one is just an efficient football team. No pre-snap penalties. No substitution errors. No dumb personal foul penalties. Like the things that cost us games last year from an immaturity standpoint. Those have to go away. Those have to now become the norm. And if those things go away in week zero, you're going to start and set the tone that that is now the standard going forward. So the no negative things and all that, that that's an all-encompassing key there at the end because it affects all three phases. I mean, as far as like, hey, if you're a kicker, if you're a kicker on kickoff, don't kick it out of bounds, right? Like kick it through the uprights. If you're an offensive lineman, be styled in, so dialed into the snap count that there's no zero, there's zero possible way that you jump off sides. Right? And if you're a defensive lineman, watch the football. And when the play's over and the whistle's blown, no one cares about the whoever you are show. It's not about you. It's about the team. Do your job. Help the guy up. Get lined back up and go do it again. All right. Player to watch. Offense, defense. Yeah, offense, obviously, is Casey Thompson. Right? It, that's, that's an easy one, right? Hey, how is he going to perform? It's his first time out there with the end on the side of his helmet. That's, a, that's an easy one. On defense, it's going to be kind of the all-encompassing, the edge players. Hey, Garrett Nelson, Oshan Mathis, Caleb Tanner versus that offensive front, especially Peter Skaronsky, right? Who's going to show, like, hey, that's one of the best guys in the in NCAA right now. Like, let's see who can get after him and set the tone. Because now you go after and you get after him, everyone's going to be watching you and be like, that's a guy to watch now, right? This is a tone setter for all of those guys on the other side. All right, so again, that was just a portion of a 30-minute long conversation. Um, you know, you heard him talking about the really the big key matchup for him, that uh, Northwestern offensive line versus the Nebraska defensive line, going to be an intriguing matchup. And, you know, Peter Skoronsky, we all know Jeremiah knows his offensive lineman, right, is a nerd about all that and has studied it, said he's as good of, as advertised. But they didn't have as good a year. Uh, you know, l last yeah. year when they matched up against Nebraska, had a bad game, and so he was saying – uh, we'll stick with that offensive line because four of those five guys are back that played on that line that got destroyed <laughs> in Lincoln last year. I think the black shirts don't really want to talk, just want to play. And, boy, they did not. You talked to a couple of them Sunday, and they are, they've got their game faces on. Absolutely. I mean, you heard Caleb Tanner. I asked him about it. He didn't really want to talk about it much. And, um, you know, when you hear Garrett Nelson talk about it, same thing. I mean, it is you – know, they're not going to dive into what Northwestern does. And, and that's another theme that, you know, we're hearing from this team and these players is that, hey, we got to go do what Nebraska does. We can't be so worried about everything else. Let's just go play our brand of football, and, and, and that's all we can worry about right now and, and not get caught up in everything else. But, yeah, it's going to be a fun matchup for sure. And, and you know, as Jeremiah was saying, too, you're going to learn a lot about – we're hearing a lot about these edge guys. And, um, you know, just setting the tone in this one, how important that one is. But, again, that's just a portion of – Fired up Searles for game week, and you can hear that full episode right now wherever you listen to our Huskers Radio Network podcast and on YouTube as well. Again, the sideline slice presented by Valentino's Pizza. Fantastic. All right, time to tell you to buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. We will have more from Dublin coming up next. Discover the pinnacle of American automotive design with the all-new Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer. Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair is your Wagoneer certified dealer, delivering an experience to match the premium quality of your vehicle, making your choice easy. The all-new Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer are equipped with state-of-the-art technology, a luxurious, expansive cabin, and confident capability you would expect from this legendary SUV. Visit us in-store or online at WoodhouseChryslerJeepDodge.com. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm Student Government President Jake Drake with Campus News. Nebraska has the most technically advanced buildings in the Big Ten, according to an annual review of universities across the country. Nebraska has also saved over $85 million over the past 17 years by making long-term investments in clean, reliable energy sources, cutting-edge automation, and collaborations across campus. They give it off to Yant. Dives! He's in! Touchdown, Nebraska! Stop by Nicklin Hand! 
Hey, Huskers fans, this Saturday, join us for a jam-packed day of Husker sports beginning at 7.30 a.m. with Huskers game day against Northwestern. We'll take you through pregame from kickoff to the final whistle and all the way through to the last phone call on Big Red Reaction. At 6.30 p.m., Nebraska volleyball pregame coverage begins for Nebraska showdown with Pepperdine. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! Hit us up on the text line, text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Here's to the locals, raised right here in the Western Corn Belt. The strong ones. We help them grow stronger, making world-class genetics, research, and technology local. The cutting-edge yet common-sense agronomy. The shake up yields. Because we're born and raised here, too. And we'll keep raising the bar to ensure you only get the best at Hogemeyer. Raised local, raised right here. Learn more at therightseed.com. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride. The official foundation company of the Huskers. Save with low price lockdown from High V. We've locked down prices on hundreds of your favorite everyday items. Prices are locked down for months and months on major leading name brands. The products that you like, the products that you want, and products that you'll want to stock up on. And all of the prices are locked down until we unlock them and lower them even more. Low price lockdown. Deals you can't beat anywhere. Only at High V. It's time to amp up the fun. Now during the Ford Summer Supercharged Sales Event. Just move on up. Get great offers on select Ford vehicles, and you'll not only bring back the fun, you'll supercharge it. So stop by the Summer Supercharged Sales Event at your Ford dealer and discover how Ford can take your summer to a whole new level. Not all models, trims, or features may be available. Contact your dealer for information. Just move on up. A DUI is everything you didn't prepare for. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Come back, Dublin, Ireland, where we are for tonight's show. For an hour, we'll kick it back at the top of the hour for our second volleyball show of the year. John Cook, John Bader will take your calls, comments, questions about Oscar volleyball as they are just three days away from starting their season. Two matches coming on Friday, Texas A&M Corpus Christi at 11 a.m., and then they'll play again that night at 6.30. So two matches on day one of the season for the number one ranked team, the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Hey, we have sold out of Husker football for the non-conference games, but you still have an opportunity to see this football team play in Big Ten action. We have a Big Ten mini plan, $200 value that includes the four Big Ten home games, Indiana, Illinois, Minnesota, Wisconsin. If you're interested in that, you can go visit huskers.com slash tickets. We've talked about what a gorgeous day it was here today. I uh, stopped by the training table yesterday before we left Lincoln, 
and saw Karan McPherson walk on crutches, and I'm like, that isn't good. Then saw the release later in the day that he tore his ACL. I just feel horrible for him because he'd redshirted last year, and this was going to be his time to take over in that basketball team. And he's such an energy guy and loves being on the floor with this team. You always hate that. I mean, again, I just cringe every time somebody tears their ACL because I know what it's like, and it is it's just such a, again, you, you absolutely bounce back from it. Now it is, is not an injury that is season your career ending, but it's it's just such a hard process, and it's it's a long, lengthy, lonely process. And so, but again, he has the attitude and the work ethic to get through it. And so, um, yeah, hate it for him, but he'll be a guy that will bounce back from it for sure. They were really expecting him to be kind of a leader for this team. He's just got that personality, and so to take that now off the table, now you put some pressure on some freshman guards that have come in there for Coach Hoiberg to have to kind of carry the load a little bit for this team. Even though he would have been a freshman, he'd been in the program for an entire year. But doggone it, just hate seeing that, that news pop up and right now. how many times were things not going well a year ago that you looked over and Q was the, the one over there, yep. you know, making sure that he was the positive one, picking everybody up. He was the vocal guy, the energy guy, even though he was not on the court. And so, yeah, someone's going to have to step into that because he's an energy guy, and he is, um, you know, he brings it every day in practice. So someone's going to have to match that energy. Um, you know, everybody has that, and, and he's everybody has that guy that, that brings it every day, and he's one of those guys, and so they'll, they'll look to have, fill someone, have someone fill that void. I did want to mention, too, for someone that gives Andrew a lot of a uh, hard time for being at the training table. Boy, you made it the first day it was open. Yeah, I did. Well, I was there because we were taping. We were getting ready to, to do some recording that day, so I was in the house, so I went by there. Uh-huh, yeah, Probably yeah, like yeah. the third time I've ever been. Did so. you did you package it up like how Andrew taught no, us all there, how to do I it? I sat there and ate. Okay. Yeah. So you didn't meal prep. Oh, well, I guess you had to get on the flight, so. Yeah, yeah, so I, I did that. But. Yeah, if, if any of the experts, it's absolutely Andrew, but, you know, just – I, you know, you same, gave him a hard time, and then you're there on day one that yeah, it's open. Yeah, well, Andrew's he's got reservations every day at a certain time <laughs> to make his way through there. Uh, you were talking about Q and that injury. Seamus McKnight, who handles uh, the sports information for, for men's basketball, I was we got pretty close on the flight over here because he was my seatmate. Uh, and I said, well, how did it happen? He goes, just a little drill they were doing, and boom, it, it popped right there. It just It breaks your heart. Because you can accept that to a more of a degree if it's in the heat of a battle and a game and all that. You hate that, too, but this is just a little drill. Yeah, sometimes it's just how it happens. It's just nothing that does it. It just it just pops. And I can tell you from my, my first one, I was dry, I was playing basketball both times. The first one, I got fouled really hard and kind of came down on it wompy jawed and it popped and I didn't even know what it was because it didn't even hurt that bad in my adrenaline and so I just thought like I hyperextended it or something I tried to play on it again ended up wiping out everything the second time it was kind of like you it was nothing I just went I took a step and boy that it went and once you know the first time <laughs> once you feel it you know even though it doesn't hurt that bad that bad you know that it's just a shock throughout your body so yeah it's, it's weird how sometimes I mean it can be a physical something that that makes it happen because you you're coming down your body just doesn't land right and then the other one it just you can just step wrong and it is gone and it's a season uh that's uh no no more for anybody so it's crazy how your body reacts to some of those things thinking about in the as it relates to the knee injury with a couple of football players who i'm really anxious to see back on the field again on saturday and that's gabe irvin and teddy prohaska who are two guys that had knee injuries last year and both look like they're going to be big contributors. Yeah, Gabe, I, we've heard from the spring how well he's handled his business, how good he's looked. I think they, you know, again, were, were smart about how they brought him along. And he feels, he said it, he feels better than he felt before he it tore the knee. And, and again, it's, it's a little bit different because it's game speed is different than when you're just, you know, going through practice and it takes a little while to get acclimated. So, yes, I will, I'm intrigued to see what Gabe looks like game speed on Saturday. I think we're going to see multiple running backs, obviously. I, I think all of them are going to get an opportunity. I think, you know, t talking with Coach Applewhite at the um, Boneyard Bash on Saturday, he had still said that, you know, it's still battle. They're still battling, and, and they're still trying to figure out which guys they want in certain situations. And so a lot of that, I think, will, will tell us – once we see how they react in a game. But Teddy, too, boy, he he looks good, and he's a big man walking through the airport. He is a giant. 
<laughs> and just getting bigger and bigger. Hey, our Sports Sunday Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com. Anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned, you can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. We are in Dublin. The Huskers have made it safe and sound. Uh, we're down near the stadium is where our hotel is, just a block or so away. You can see the stadium if you're watching on our YouTube stream off of Jessica's shoulder uh, back there. So really convenient That's the for high us. side. So, you know, on the other side is where it gets low because of the neighborhood. You can't block that sun. So that's the that's the higher part of the stadium that you're seeing behind me. But on the other side, you know, it dips Very down low. and goes kind of, it's kind of a weird shaped roof, but it's cool. We're here, but the team is not. They are out at a resort about 30 minutes, a 30 minute drive from the stadium. So they're out and about a little ways where we're kind of here. A lot of the support staff is here with us as well. We just saw some of the, uh, the equipment guys walking around and uh, some of the uh, uh, analysts and assistants also walking around down here as well. But the team is out in a different location for this game. All right, well, I need to get our final break in and come back and wrap up our one, then hand it off to JB and John Cook for the Husker Volleyball Show. That's coming up next. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. Successful farmers must make good decisions every day. In pivot irrigation, the choice is simple. TNL exclusive hydraulically powered pivot irrigation systems are like no other. You get tough, reliable, and cost effective irrigation. Let TNL's 60 years of irrigation experience work for you. Call your local TNL dealer or TNL irrigation company today. TNL, like no other. The three-row 2022 Subaru Ascent. It's the biggest SUV Subaru has ever made. With room for up to eight, choice of second row captain's chair or bench seating, plus standard symmetrical all-wheel drive with up to 27 miles per gallon. The 2022 Subaru Ascent. Love is now bigger than ever. Seating availability varies by trim level. EPA estimated highway fuel economy for 2022 Subaru Ascent and Ascent Premium models. Actual mileage may vary. Duto Subaru located at 2750 Jamie Lane in Lincoln and online at dutosubaru.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska is proud to support Husker athletics. Having a competent teammate beside you makes all the difference when it comes to protecting what matters most. With the proven track record of dependable coverage, unmatched financial strength, and a prompt claim service team right here in Nebraska, that's insurance kept local. Visit FMNE.com to contact an agent for a quote today. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska, always alongside you. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Oscars Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. We are at, at our hotel, which is a block away from the stadium tonight, but the next two nights we're going to be at Buskers. No relation to the Huskers, but it's Buskers Bar at 7 o'clock Dublin time. So if you know someone that's coming over or if you're flying out tonight and coming over tomorrow, Come join us. We're going to have some fun the next couple of nights. We're going to have some folks from the Alumni Association join us tomorrow night. And who else? We don't know who else may pop in. Huskers at Buskers. Yes. We're uh, planning a piece that we're going to do. You know me, obviously, and Nick Burkhart and that crew. We like to be a little bit goofy, so we're going to try to go do some uh, man-on-the-street interviews with uh, some folks around here in Ireland and ask them Nebraska trivia. So Good. if you have any fun questions, uh, we should ask some people around here, like what's a corn husker and – 
you know, would you prefer to run the ball or throw the ball? You know, that kind of stuff. And so if you have any fun questions, send them my way. We'll ask we'll ask Ireland folks about it. Ask them if they know what a fullback is. Oh, that was on the list. Yeah. It's already on the list, yeah. yes. You know, the airport had a lot of purple and red balloons. They had some signs up for the game. We've seen, as we drove around town today, a lot of billboards up. So they have... They've wrapped their arms around this game. Oh, they've been promoting it. And, again, this is something that they had planned on, and it's been in the works for so long. And I know they're they're so relieved to finally actually make it happen and are so excited. And, and it will continue to, you know, drum up as we go along throughout the week. And they're going to have a lot going on down at the Temple Bar District where they're going to have that pep rally. And so it's going to be – wild as we go along throughout the week and as you mentioned earlier some people not going to be in dublin yet and so that will be later on in the week and it'll it'll start getting you'll start feeling it around here i have a feeling a lot of the people that have come over on tours leave the town and go do the touristy stuff and then work their way back to dublin for the game so i think as we move along it's going to be the amount of red we will see will really go up you mentioned the pep rally if you're interested in that or know somebody that's over here the northwestern one is at three o'clock you don't need to go to that, but it's at 3 o'clock, <laughs> and then Nebraska's is at 4.30. So that's uh, in, in Marion Park is where that is located near the Temple Bar District. So 4.30, Trev Alberts will talk, Scott Frost will talk, Jason Peters is going to represent former Huskers and get up and say a few words. So And the and, players will be there. They just aren't going to speak. Correct. And I believe the Chancellor is there. The Chancellor, did you see his Twitter account today? No. He is up in Scotland, and he's got – relations from that that's where his ancestry is he was getting measured for a kilt that wow. he says he plans on wearing at the volleyball final four and at the bowl game later this year so wow. the chancellor's getting a kilt ready i don't know that i could pull that off you could pull it nah, off i don't think so what about no. maybe we should go bring some back for the producers back and they can pull tim it could off. i don't know that andrew andrew couldn't do it either but tim tim could probably pull that off yeah so, well, that's where the Chancellor is. So he's wow. he's in Europe, but he's not in Dublin. Was yet. he modeling them or just saying he, that's what he, he was, was doing? In a, he had like four pictures. He was in a clothing store, and he showed the the fabric that he was having them prepare to make for his own kilt. Or is it red? I, it looked a little brownish to huh. me, but uh, I'll have to go back and take another look at uh, it. That will, hey, next time you have him on, you're gonna have to ask him about. Well, he'll be He's here killed. for the pregame show on on <laughs> Saturday, so I would definitely ask you about that when he pops into the pregame show on, on Saturday with our weekly visit for that. All right, so that's going to wrap up our portion of Sports Nightly here tonight. Again, the volleyball show coming up at the top of the hour. The head coach, John Cook, along with John Baylor. Huskers, the number one ranked team, are ready to start their season on Friday with those two matches at the Devaney Center. Uh, looking forward to seeing that team start to compete against some other people. And then tomorrow we'll have the full two hours for you from Buskers. So the Huskers at Buskers, as Jessica said. That'll be fun to, to get rub some elbows with some Husker fans out there the next couple of nights. I can't wait. Hopefully uh, some people will show up and um, come out there with us and hang out with us there. And, and we're going to have some hopefully some Irish accents on the show throughout the week, too, because you cannot come out here and do shows out here and not get some Irish accents. Well, you know these folks. 33,000, you, you, you know? To, you need to get the folks you know. I, I'm working on it. I, I have put in a request, so it'll be fun. Okay, that'll be fun. So Buskers tomorrow night for the next two nights, in fact, for Sports Alley. Uh, tonight we needed to go a little low-key because we're both running on fumes. Without, not a lot of sleep last night. I plan on sleeping pretty hard tonight. Same, same. Me too. We got to get kind of the team yes. schedule going on yep. because we got a we got a big day on Saturday too. So we got to get right too. We will have reaction to practice tomorrow on the program as well, and again, uh, just some other special guests. We hope will swing by and join us on the program. By the way, I'm sure people are wondering because it cuts off because the producer already asked me. This is not a wildcat paw. I did not know we were going to be on camera for this. It is a. The Bella Foundation, just so you know, if you're cool. watching on Very the YouTube cool. stream. Yeah, we have kind of a late addition to add the, <laughs> the, uh, the video part of the show tonight. Thanks to Andrew, to Mike, to Tim, to all of you for being a part of this one tonight. Stick around. More of the show coming up. It'll be our volleyball show with head coach John Cook and John Bader. Have a great night. Talk to you again tomorrow. up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts.
save with low price lockdown from High V. We've locked down prices on hundreds of your favorite everyday items. Prices are locked down for months and months on major leading name brands. The products that you like, the products that you want, and products that you'll want to stock up on. And all of the prices are locked down until we unlock them and lower them even more. Low price lockdown. Deals you can't beat anywhere. Only at High V. It's time to amp up the fun. Now during the Ford Summer Supercharged Sales Event. Just move on up. Get great offers on select Ford vehicles, and you'll not only bring back the fun, you'll supercharge it. So stop by the Summer Supercharged Sales Event at your Ford dealer and discover how Ford can take your summer to a whole new level. Not all models, trims, or features may be available. Contact your dealer for information. Just move on. The name of our new promotion says it all. Powerball First Millionaire of the Year. Through September 12th, buy a Powerball with PowerPlay ticket at any Nebraska Lottery retailer and enter the voucher number to win a trip to New York City for New Year's Eve on December 31st, 2022. Plus, you'll also get a chance to win $1 million and become the Powerball First Millionaire of 2023. Remember, this promotion ends on September 12th, so plan ahead and play today. Powerball top prize odds won in $292 million. We might have just come out with our most refreshing Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer yet. It's called the Essential Collection. It's made with coconut water and real fruit juice. So it's always going to have a real refreshing fruit taste. Can refreshing get any more refreshing? Yep, it can and it just did. Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer. Made with coconut water and real fruit juice for superior taste. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer. IRC Beer, St. Louis, Missouri.
This is the Husker Volleyball Radio Show with head coach John Cook. Presented by Bank of the West and your Midwest Ford dealers. Visit buyfordnow.com. Ed Kennedy Orr, the slide, Caitlin Orr, bang. Two, two. How beautiful was that connection, JB? The slide shot by Becca Alec. Kaboom! Woohoo! Becca Alec. Pen is white, right side. Big hit, Hayden Kubik. Kaboom! She's been impressive, Lauren. 13 9 with the slide. There she is. Maggie Mendelson drills across court. Boy, Maggie Mendelson. Now the red right side to Kennedy. Oh, she's supposed to be a setter. Kaboom! 22 16. Whitney down the line. Kill. And then she taunts associate coach Jalen Rays after that kill. That's not going to help her future playing time. You got to be nice to those coaches. One nothing red. Pass the red Maddie Kubik, line drive set, line drive laser kill. Lindsey Krause, wow. Here is your host, John Baylor, on the Huskers Radio Network. Greetings, Nebraska. Hello, hello, hello. That was a fun night. Saturday evening, 6 o'clock start, the big red against itself. Impressive as the red takes down the white, but... Wow, look at some of these numbers. Maddie Kubik and Lindsey Krause both hit about 400. It's pretty sweet when you got two outside hitters hitting about 400, especially against the opponent. When the opponent knows what they're going to do, they're, they know their tendencies. It's an impressive night for the outsides, but really a coming out party for Kennedy Orr in a Husker uniform. She had three kills, no errors, but distributed an offense that ultimately had a 311 attack percentage. The head coach, I think, has only lost one time in 22 plus seasons now with his team ever hitting 300 or higher so just a great impressive start uh, for Nebraska and really Becca Alec uh, from the get-go looked like she's ready and uh, Whitney Lonstein her former high school teammate looks solid on the right side uh, so many options for this coaching staff and you can chime in at 402-413-2400 yours truly John Baylor your humble host here in Lincoln Here's the head coach of basketball volleyball, John Cook. Good evening. Good evening, JB. How are we doing? I'm fired up for all these Nebraska media members who are getting this paid for vaca- uh, this paid for work trip to Ireland. They have earned it. Well, yeah, I, I, it might be you and I and yep. Mike Elliott are the only ones that aren't going to Ireland. So, but yeah. JB, I just I just want to tell you that last night, I just went down to the Haymarket. Got an ice cream at, uh, had got a little dinner at JTK by myself. Nice. No one recognized you. Nope. Got a little ice cream at Ivanicone. Oh. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Ivonicone? Oh, sure. Yeah, Ivonicone. And I just sat out there reminiscing about when we used to do the radio show down there. Hey. You know, and it was like, it, I'll it was, take you it, back. You know, you, <laughs> you just, it's a great vibe down there. But I miss, I miss it down. I mean, this is great how, with the setup we have here. Memorial but, Stadium. Yeah. Here's where it all happens. But it, I miss those. That was pretty cool down there. It's a big old mixer. And did you yeah. see a lot of young couples, yeah. you know, kind of staring at each other a little bit? And yeah. I kind of like that. That kind of energy. And you wonder, will this work? I mean, but hopefully it will. Yeah. I, I miss I miss the boys running out and blocking off, you know, parking. And, no, oh yeah, and then you're walking that. in, everybody's talking to you because you're, you're walking through, you know, the, by the oven and the uh, brewskis, nice. I think. Do you yeah, ever look so. at the young couples and kind of assess the, the yeah. guy's chances? I'm always, I'm, sometimes I'm like, I think she should probably... <laughs> Bounce that guy. But you know, it's not my. I mean, it's, 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 you hope it works out, but yeah. do you ever just think about that? Or but anyway, a lot of young couple. And this weather too. Everyone's getting along. Yeah. No, no one's bickering. Everyone's was, getting along. It was so nice down there last night. It was just I just sat out there and people watched That's and great. spilled. You know, spilled my ice cream all over me. I mean, because I, I I don't eat ice cream very often, but smart. It was uh, uh, you know it was melting. And I had a cone. The thing. Things breaking and skull all over me, but I didn't care. Coach, seriously, didn't you get you know interrupted a little bit by fans? Want to talk about red, white? Want to talk about this? No, weekend? actually, no, no. They left. Nice. Well, I, a couple of people said hi, but they, okay. they could they could tell I was just you know in the in the moment down there and you know me time, alone you time. Well, you don't get a ton of that, uh, uh, so it's cool. All right, it's been I, had to re- I had to recover from the fan day. That was two and a half hours of signing. Holy cow! The I players mean, didn't just sign; you signed too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's rugged on the old wrist. Yeah, it was, it was great. But I mean, you're basically on call, in, interacting for two and a half hours straight. Now, is it kind of like a middle school yearbook, like never change, yeah. Coach Cook? 
Yeah. Like you were awesome no. in bio class. No, yeah. or is it just your name? No, just just, just my name. And but but you're interacting with them. They're talking to you. I mean, I I, I think at least fifty percent asked me about Bud. Our volunteer. The whole coach. state is all fired up yeah. about that horse. Bud. And he's on the pro poster. So I pointed out. I said, you know, we put him on the poster, and they're looking at the poster like. At first, they, nice. they didn't catch it because they came through the line, got their poster, and this sign, 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 sign through the players, and I'm last, and I'm like, you see Bud's on there. And they're like, whoa, they go nuts. So, but, yeah, Bud, Bud was a hot topic. But he did not sign. No, no. they, they wanna, there, there were many requests to have Bud there next year at Fan Day just take pictures. And, In the flesh. Yeah, I mean, you got Jordan Larson behind us on the mural. Sure. And, and Bud there, it would be epic. Oh, how about big old, what do you call it, like cardboard cutouts of some of the all-time greats? Yeah. And just stand next to, hey, Lori Endicott, all the great right there, and take your pick, and that'd be a nice addition yeah. to the deal. But well, we're honoring the gold medalists, the, the banners going in right where we were signing, close by there in the north entrance, the big banners going in this week of the three. It's a great picture of the, uh, it's going to be three separate uh, um, banners Jordan, Kelsey, and Justine, mm. but they're going to hang next to each other with their gold medals, so it would be pretty That's cool. Awesome. So people will see that when they come in. Now, Coach, uh, you've had, a, what, two additional practice since the red-white, so it's a, almost a distant memory for you, but after you've digested and looked at the numbers and maybe watched some of the videotape from Saturday night, how impressed were you? Well, it was a very competitive match. Uh, one team was, you know, had a little more firepower, but it was good volleyball. The freshmen played well. And any time, you, like you mentioned, we hit 300. I went back through all the red-whites. I found one time we hit over 300. We hit 322. You, want, you know what year that was? This is not within the last 10 years. 322 at a red-white. Yeah. That would have been uh, 16 or 17. No, it was 19 because we had just come off our trip to China. Nice. So that we were already, you know. We were a month ahead of where we were, and that one we hit. Uh, uh, um, uh, we hit 322 in that. But usually, usually ab about 150 is what we hit, and the other team will hit 110, 100, something like that. So, you two would agree that they're ahead of schedule right now. I don't know. We just they're a they're good night. they're working really hard. They've worked really hard in the summer. Um, we have, uh, I think, a lot of confidence from our finish last year. So I think all that. Uh, but they, they, were, they were nervous. They all told me how nervous they were. And, and you could have fooled me. Because you could, well, you saw a few serves in the bottom of the net. and missed Not a lot. First serve, Ani missed the first serve of the match by about 20 feet. So there was some nerves out there, which is great for them. But the, you, you were there with the crowd. Crowd was like fired yeah, up at the beginning. They were yeah. rolling. Yeah. And then they mellowed out a little but bit. But then the, when the Red Kingdom came in, Game Three, they dug it. Hey, what about the music after Set One? We missed that. The uh, Come a Rolling Boys, or what? The, how's that thing go? The, oh, the that uh, thing is awesome. From the Killigans. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We gotta bring that. What happened to that? Is that coming back? I hope so. We yeah. gotta get that back. I, I will. I, I'll be on great. that tomorrow. I'll be on that tomorrow. I like to contribute now, yeah. and then. that would be one thing. We want to we want to bring back Kennedy Orr, so impressive, and uh, were were you you seemed even a little surprised? Was her performance Saturday beyond what you had seen typically even in practice? I, I wasn't sure. She's been you know you got you got to look at her as a freshman. I mean she hasn't played in two years, so uh, she she was really nervous, and um, so I didn't know what to expect. I mean she's got a lot of improvements still to go with her consistency and her technique. Uh, but you can tell she's she's a very gifted setter. She can kind of do things that a lot of setters can't. For example, well, she, if you look at the size of her hands, big. she has she has really big hands. So she can kind of just take. She always doesn't have to be there. She can just kind of take the ball from any position, and and make a set, make a play. She's a she's physical. She's a great blocker. She can hit as you saw. I mean, she's calling for the ball. Last last player we had to do that was Kelly Hunter. That's going to be a play. I mean, in most oh, sets, yeah. uh, Libero bumps it over to the setter yeah. on the right side because yeah. she can mm -hmm. those, terminate. Those, yeah, she hammered those things, three of them. Big hands, is that always an advantage or maybe more spinning volleyballs when you set? Well, sometimes. You know, Gracia, ha Gracia was another one that had really big hands, great blocker. Uh, but it just, 
you know, it just allows them to do things. Uh, they, they can get away with more and, and make, you know, take balls in different spots and still deliver them. And she's, she's really gifted with that. Is she a leader out there? Is she a vocal leader? She's right now, she's just worried about Kennedy and doing her job right now. But eventually, at some point, you know, the setters have got to, you know, run the show. Is she feeling the pressure, you think, a little bit? Or is she pretty calm in practice? And she, I, I don't know. I mean, she's, I, I know she job. was nervous. And it's totally expected. So we worked hard on how to handle those nerves. Big job. This is the, we've had three setters since 2014. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Kennedy yeah. Orr is the third. Yeah. A lot of continuity at that position. Yeah. You know, we, we often think of Nebraska volleyball as setter you. How about libero you? Yeah. I think maybe a. A big old display case with, with all the great liberos that Nebraska's had. Well, look, look at, look at where we started with Justine, or I'm sorry, Kayla, Justine, both Olympians, mm -hmm. Kenzie Maloney, who might have been better than all of them. I mean, she yeah. was phenomenal, but she decided, didn't want to play. The national team was begging her to come out there. And, uh, you know, now Lexi Rodriguez. But I got, I, you know. a nice run. I've told you, recruiting liberos is the hardest thing recruiting because you can go watch them and they may never get a serve. They might get a couple digs. Uh, you never see them do anything in well, club. And you kind of missed on a couple years past Laura Dykstra, who went to Pepperdine, one of the opponents this weekend, transferred from here, and then Megan Pender. How have you gotten better at, at projecting? Because, wow, you've had a great run here for a decade. Well, we, we, Kayla helped, you know, Kay, I, I'm giving Kayla Banworth all the credit for Lexi Rodriguez because I. I wasn't sold right really? away as a ninth grader. Giving away credit as the head coach. Oh, yeah. yeah I got nice. no problem with that. Uh, and uh, Justine was, uh, that was, I, we had to go get her and recruit her, and we had to, like, take a gamble. Because she was a setter. She was a setter, yeah. Nobody was recruiting her. I mean, we recruited her senior year. I mean, it was like, that was unheard of. And no other But no, nobody was recruiting her, but... What happened was, and again, I got to give credit to uh, a former club coach in San Diego. Who, uh, he coaches a big club out there who I got started when I was coaching club there, and he, he knew her dad. And her dad was a great beach player, and he was telling me about her. She was a great beach player. So I'm thinking, okay, she's a beach player. She's not a great athlete, but she, know, she knows volleyball. And so, and, you know, because Dykstra had left, so we were, we were just left. We had no other options. Unrecruited by Power Five conference teams, wins gold medal with national team a decade later. That's an incredible story. Well, Caleb Banworth's the same thing. Caleb Banworth wasn't recruited. She was a setter at a, hitter. At, at a Dubuque? Dubuque Waller, yeah. No one wanted her either. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? And Lee Mays went to see her play high school. I think she touched the ball three times in the high school match because nobody would... Because she's playing outside hitter, they wouldn't serve her, they wouldn't do anything. But he got a speeding ticket into Dubuque, and he got a speeding ticket out of Dubuque. <laughs> so, he got something else out of Dubuque. Yeah, yeah. And then he, got, <laughs> he got Kayla, yeah. <laughs> Cost us two speeding tickets. Remember Kayla's first game at Iowa State? Yeah. And uh, you just brought her in there in, in 07. That team yeah. needed a, a chemistry yeah. shakeup. And she came in, and she had all her friends from Dubuque yeah. who were yeah. there. and. Next thing you know, I mean, she had 20 some digs that match or something. Yeah, was, right. Yeah. And she hadn't really played yeah. up until then. No. What a career here. And then yeah. on to winning bronze down in, in, in Rio. And now the head coach of Mississippi. We're going to see her in, in a couple weeks. So the secret to recruiting liberos, it's, 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 a, it's a, like a lottery almost. You're not really sure. Lottery. Well, the other one, you know, is Danny Busboom, who we took from Sutter and moved to Libero. Uh, and. I mean, she was only played libero one year, but she was great. So it's, it's a you know we've missed on some, and uh, but it's been a while. It's it's a tough position to recruit just because it's hard to evaluate them. 402-413-2400. This is your Nebraska volleyball show. 402-413-2400. The sports nightly hotline is brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 lo convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. With 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned, you can always find what you're looking for. With Woodhouse, stay right there. More Nebraska Volleyball Show after you hear this. I'm University of Nebraska-Lincoln student, Hannah Fahm, with Campus News. 
Students from Nebraska's Johnny Carson Center for Emerging Media Arts helped create visual effects for the Star Wars TV series Obi-Wan Kenobi. This opportunity came from a three-month internship with Lola VFX, a visual effects firm in Los Angeles. This internship transitioned to employment, with Huskers also creating effects for the superhero movie Thor, Love and Thunder. Turn. Give it off to the fullback. Stuffed and stopped. Stuffed and stopped at the 32-yard line. It's a loss of a yard. Huskers will take over on down. Hey, Huskers fans, this Thursday, join us for Sports Nightly from 6 to 8 p.m. from Buskers Bar in Dublin, Ireland, as we'll break down another Nebraska football practice report with head coach Scott Frost and make our Big Ten picks for week zero of the college football season. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Discover the pinnacle of American automotive design with the all-new Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer. Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair is your Wagoneer certified dealer, delivering an experience to match the premium quality of your vehicle, making your choice easy. The all-new Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer are equipped with state-of-the-art technology, a luxurious, expansive cabin, and confident capability you would expect from this legendary SUV. Visit us in-store or online at WoodhouseChryslerJeepDodge.com. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Pivot control has never been easier. TNL Irrigation now offers a new control panel called Precision Point Touch. It's a full color, seven inch graphic touchscreen that's easy to use and gives you lots of great tools to make your irrigation faster and more efficient. Set up your pivots the way you want. You can update your older controls to the new Precision Point control panel too. Call your local TNL dealer or visit TLIRR.com. TNL Irrigation, like no other. Nebraska Innovation Campus creates partnerships between business and the University of Nebraska. Partners lease office space, laboratories, pilot plants, and greenhouses, all centrally located with easy access to University of Nebraska talent and resources. Nebraska Innovation Campus, creating spaces and culture that inspire. Learn more at innovate.unl.edu. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid minerals with protein or Redmond natural mineral salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blahorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. <coughs> Hey, Husker fans, it's time to gear up for the season. So let's do it right. Jerseys, hats, hoodies, and more. Shields has everything you need to show your Nebraska pride. Visit our fan shop online or in-store for the biggest and best brands in the game. You'll find the right gear to level up your team spirit with all the essentials for your pregame parking lot party. Shields, proud partner of Husker Athletics and football fans everywhere. Thanks for calling Toyota. This is Jan. How can I help? Hi. Thanks for telling my family and me about Toyota's national sales event. Oh, you're welcome. We got a new RAV4 during the event, and it's been great. Well, that makes me happy. Right now through September 6th, it is the best time to drive off in a new Camry Hybrid, Tacoma, and more. So what are you up to? You know, we took the RAV4 to a great spot. We've hiked, rafted, and now we're exploring a cave. Amazing. You're inside a cave right now? Yep. 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 Well, I'm glad the RAV4 could make it all happen. Yeah, my wife talked me into spelunking. I'm actually a complete and absolute amateur. An absolute amateur. An absolute amateur. Huh. I could have done without the echo on that. Toyota's national sales event is on. Visit your participating Toyota dealer today to enjoy every last second of summer. Toyota, let's go places. 
See your participating Toyota dealer for details. Dealer inventory may vary. Event ends September 6th. Welcome back to your Nebraska Volleyball Show. Sadly, not in Ireland, but we'll be at the Coliseum, 11 a.m., Texas A&M. Corpus Christi, the Islanders were 19-10 and 10 a year ago, 13-1 and 1 in their Southland Conference. And then 6.30 at night on Friday, the Tulsa Golden Hurricane will be here. And then the big one, the marquee matchup for the Emeritus Classic, 7 o'clock on Saturday night, the Pepperdine Waves. A year ago, 22-6, and 6, they finished second in the West Coast Conference. And they've got three starters returning, including uh, the eighth best uh, kill leader in the country a year ago 4.9 kills per set rachel aarons will be here with pepperdine on saturday night it's a great competition whole season sold out do your best to get in there but if you cannot you know where to go the husker radio network right here for all three of those games buckle up and put the phone down a reminder from the ndot highway safety office and the official co-op of husker nation central valley ag invites you to participate in the volleyball radio show whether you text from the tractor or call from the combines farmer feedback is always welcome on the husker radio network 413-2400 the area code 402-413-2400 there's the head coach john cook and here is tim from Minnesota, Tim, great to have you on the Nebraska Volleyball Show. Hello, Tim. Thanks for taking all. Oh, bear with me. A little under the weather, especially my voice. So I'll try and get, get this out. But I'm um, great to be able to talk to you. I've got two questions first. Um, I'm, I don't have all that the volleyball, but uh, I'm assuming that there um, since then, we have five one. It's only better. And also, coach, uh, got deep for the season. The best, the best for the season. But um, kind of curious, what type of it's the, the what type of breed or yeah? Uh, Thanks, Tim. So, what and, kind of and, breed? It's like been fun to. I actually lived in Nebraska a few years ago. Good stuff. Timmy wants to know the breed of the horse. And then prior to that, are you considering running a two-setter offense potentially this year? So Bud's a quarter horse. Nice. Thank you, for JB, for that, that question. Uh, we know Tim's not a farmer because the con they're not harvesting yet. And you know, we know he's not a, in Ireland. So... We know those two things. And 5-1 or 6-2, every time we try to 6-2, JB, you know, in my ear the whole time, why are we running a 6-2, why are we running a 6-2? So uh, we're open to everything. We've got some options, uh, and we'll, we're evaluating everything at this point. So it's still on the table? Oh, yeah. You're a fan of the 6-2, even though it's been almost 20 years since a national champion exhibited I'm, that offense. I'm a fan of the 6-2 as long as you can pass. <laughs> So that's the key. You got to be able to pass because you you can't, you know, the trade-off is you get more firepower, but they got to be able to pass, and we're in, you're taking out great passers potentially, like a Kenzie Knuckles for, for us. She wouldn't be able to get in it very much in a six-two. So there's trade-offs to everything. That was the problem in '99. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Brandon two set her yep. offense. Yep. I had, to, I had to flash back there, 99. I like, I, I like to throw in a little history yeah, yeah. now and then. Who was the great passer on the 99 team? Bellevue West couldn't get her in the, in the yeah, match. Yeah, um, um, Nikki, oh, Nikki. Nikki Hank. Nikki Hank, yeah. Nikki Hank, she's yeah. like, uh, hello, hello. I know. Couldn't get in. I know, that's the, that's the pro, I mean, that's the trade-off. So you're, it, it messes, it's hard to have great passing. Now, Pittsburgh got the Final Four running a 6-2 last year. Good point. Yeah. And uh, they had firepower. They were hard to play. Meanwhile, we talked about the setter Kennedy Orr from the red-white match on Saturday night. But Lindsey Krause seemed to be so impressive. In a pinch, if you're running out of subs, she seems like a candidate to play all the way around, all six rotations. Yeah, I mean, both her and Allie were developing to be six rotation players. And just like Michaela Fecky, I mean, she, she didn't get there until she was a junior. Uh, it, it takes time for these players that... Uh, you know, haven't been. You got to remember, Lindsay didn't in high school and club. They didn't play her in the back row because she was tall. She wasn't as coordinated. So it takes a long time to develop them. And 
Uh, so our goal is, for, we, I mean, they train in the back row. They train passing every day. They train defense every day. They train hitting out of the back row every day. And you're right. That, that's a, both those guys, I would feel comfortable putting them in there. They've got to prove that they can, you know, pass for three hours. Every ball is going to come to them. So that's the question. And just like in the red-white, I mean, Hayden Kubik was in there. She got 35 attempts. She hung in there for a while, and then she started letting go at the end because it's tough. I mean, it is a mental grind to have to pass. And then attack. And yeah, and, and, you know, and, and then Lexi Rodriguez and, you know, Maisie are over there standing there like, okay, would you please serve me a ball? <laughs> <laughs> is that part of the recruiting pitch? Hey, you come to Nebraska, we're going to develop you all the way around. Well, just look at Kelsey Robinson, Jordan Larson, Matty Kubik, uh, you know, those guys, uh, Christina Hotelling, you know, was a middle who ended up being a six rotation outside Sarah Pavin. We played all the way around, you know. So, I mean, yes, we, we like that, and uh, it's something we're looking for and selling in our recruits. And, and uh, because the thing is that what people don't understand is the United States college volleyball and high school volleyball and club has different rules than the rest of the world. The rest of the world is you're playing all the way around and one person can come in for you one time in the game and that's it. Well here we have 15 subs and a libero so you can just sub in and out, in and out, in and out but internationally you have to be a six rotation player and that's why our players have basically we've had this, almost the starting lineups for as an outside hitter for the last two Olympics in Jordan and Kelsey. And Michaela could have been there as well. Yeah. Oh, she had they, retired. Yeah, yeah. Mika they wanted Michaela desperately, but you know, she decided to have a baby. 402-413-2400. I mean, Lindsey Krause looked so impressive, and uh, she looks much more comfortable on the left than perhaps she ever did all last year on the right. What was your... Your, your inference from what you saw on well, Saturday she's, night. She's played left her whole life, so she's more comfortable out there. And, um, you know, right now we're, we're giving Whitney a shot on the right. Um, but, you know, Lindsay Alley or Whitney could all play left or right. So we're just trying to figure out what the best combination is. Alley was back in practice today, had a, probably one, maybe the best practice I've ever seen her have. So, uh, so the only day she missed was the day of the red white. No, she she we had to pull her out a couple of days before the red white, just you know. But mm -hmm. uh, that's why we wanted to give her a break. So to keep her fingers crossed, she can get through another practice tomorrow and not irritate it and, and how close play is, this weekend. How close is the battle between oh, Whitney very, and Allie on the right side? They're, they're all competing. And Lindsay. There's no easy days in, in the gym right now. Is is Maddie still competing too? Uh, Maddie has a little bit of leeway. <laughs> She has, she has, she's competing with me right now to push her game to another level. Is Hayden Kubik ahead of Maddie at the same age? I heard you say that today. Um, too early to tell. But even if she is, long way to go to catch her older sister. Because yeah, the yeah. arc of her development at Nebraska. How, how, would you compare it to any other Huskers historically? Well, her uh, she was uh, fighting for time two years ago. I mean, that's that's what most of our players come here and get better. You know, she. She improved 400 points on the Husker Power Index her senior year, which is the only other player I've seen do that was Michaela Fecky. Um, so by the time you get to your senior year, you know, you got to think you're tapped out. You're max, close to maxing out. And she improved 400 points. So they're, that, that's huge. And, you know, I think mentally she's done a lot of work, and she's a captain now. We announced our captains today. And Maddie and? Maddie, uh, Kenzie Knuckles, and Lexi Rodriguez. So no Nicklin Hames. No Nicklin Hames. Nicklin, Nicklin passing of the torch. Nicklin has passed on the torch, and uh, I think she's having fun. She's relaxed, and uh, you know she knows her role, and and that's the role she she doesn't, she she, d d she knows in her role right now. She want those other guys need to lead. So. She's kind of in a Husker Emeritus role yeah. at this juncture. <laughs> yeah. But she could play a huge role for you. I mean, she got a, only a couple digs the other day. Yeah. She, wasn't particularly, she didn't participate a whole lot, but you anticipate she's going to be coming in for your right side, I presume. That's kind of what we've been working on. So, so three uh, rotations. Yeah, three rotations. And, you know, she's a phenomenal defensive player. Good as good as we've ever had. So the white team is avoiding her. That's why she got so few digs. Yeah, I, I mean... 
the white team had a hard time getting it by the block. <laughs> so, but she, she's a great, uh, I mean, she's done really well passing. She's a great defensive player. She's got a great serve. She's been in a lot of big matches. Caitlin Hoard, 22 versus Lauren Stiverance, healthy, 21. I mean, we've got to see more of Caitlin. Caitlin's a different type of player, but Caitlin is like Lauren. They're elite, smooth athletes who make it look easy. Wait, as a blocker, Caitlin Horn, yeah. especially when she got next to Kennedy Orr. Yeah. Boy, the, the other team's left sides are going to struggle. Normally, when you got the setter in front of you, you just start setting to the outside and attacking yeah. over the other team's setter. I, yeah. I wish the Husker opponents this year good luck with that tactic. Yeah. This Kennedy seems like a solid blocker, but you throw a Caitlin extra, forget it. That was, I mean, boy, Jalen was uh, was giving up trying to attack around <laughs> them. But that's a, how unusual is it for a setter, with a little help from the middle, to be really strong uh, blocking force? Yeah, well, most setters typically are, are shorter. Nick Lynn, Ani, uh, but Kennedy, you know, is uh, she's close to six feet tall. She has long arms, big hands, she takes up a lot of space, and she, she sees really well, really well. 402-413-2400. We got a few text messages I got to get to. A few callers will do that. Women-owned businesses are vital to a thriving culture of entrepreneurship, innovation, and responsible contribution to community and the planet. Bank of the West is proud to provide resources, training, and solutions to help you achieve your goals. Learn more at bankofthewest.com. Remember, FDIC. Let's learn more about these three opponents as well when we come right back. This is your Nebraska Volleyball Show. It's time to amp up the fun now during the Ford Summer Supercharged Sales Event. Just move on up. Get great offers on select Ford vehicles, and you'll not only bring back the fun, you'll supercharge it. So stop by the Summer Supercharged Sales Event at your Ford dealer and discover how Ford can take your summer to a whole new level. Not all models, trims, or features may be available. Contact your dealer for information. Just move on up. The name of our new promotion says it all. Powerball First Millionaire of the Year. Through September 12th, buy a Powerball with PowerPlay ticket at any Nebraska Lottery retailer and enter the voucher number to win a trip to New York City for New Year's Eve on December 31st, 2022. Plus, you'll also get a chance to win $1 million and become the Powerball First Millionaire of 2023. Remember, this promotion ends on September 12th, so plan ahead and play today. Powerball top prize odds one in 292 million. Let Shelter Insurance get you in the game this football season. The Nebraska Huskers are gearing up for another big year, and this is your chance to win tickets from Shelter Insurance and the Husker Radio Network. Contact a Nebraska Shelter agent, and they'll register you for a chance to win tickets to one of four home football games this season. Only Shelter agents can register you, so call, email, or drop by for your chance to win. Find an agent near you at shelterinsurance.com slash Huskers and ask them to register you to win. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Every day, Central Valley Ag Cooperative works with our farmers to feed the globe. Embracing the cooperative spirit, CVA's innovative products and services in grain, agronomy, feed, and energy deliver world-class value to our members. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Learn how we grow agriculture together at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. I'm so glad we called SOS. Our AC is the coldest. I'm always the coldest. SOS to the rescue. Hey, this is Dakota Scrawford, raw receiver from Louisiana, now playing in Lincoln. When your AC isn't Dakota's, you call SOS Heating and Cooling. Their takes don't make commissions, so they give you an honest opinion, fair pricing, and longer warranties than a competition guaranteed. Take it from Dakota's. We'll keep you cool this summer. 
When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Thanks for calling Toyota. This is Jan. How can I help? Hi, thanks for telling my family and me about Toyota's national sales event. Oh, you're welcome. We got a new RAV4 during the event and it's been great. Well, that makes me happy. Right now through September 6th, it is the best time to drive off in a new Camry Hybrid, Tacoma, and more. So what are you up to? You know, we took the RAV4 to a great spot. We've hiked, rafted, and now we're exploring a cave. Amazing. You're inside a cave right now? Yep. 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 Well, I'm glad the RAV4 could make it all happen. Yeah, my wife talked me into spelunking. I'm actually a complete and absolute amateur. An absolute amateur. An absolute amateur. Huh. I could have done without the echo on that. Toyota's national sales event is on. Visit your participating Toyota dealer today to enjoy every last second of summer. Toyota, let's go places. See your participating Toyota dealer for details. Dealer inventory may vary. Event ends September 6th. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. Let Shelter Insurance get you in the game this football season. The Nebraska Huskers are gearing up for another big year, and this is your chance to win tickets from Shelter Insurance and the Husker Radio Network. Contact a Nebraska Shelter agent, and they'll register you for a chance to win tickets to one of four home football games this season. Only Shelter agents can register you, so call, email, or drop by for your chance to win. Find an agent near you at shelterinsurance.com slash huskers and ask them to register you to win. Welcome back to your Nebraska Volleyball Show. Coach, remember there was a little talk, a little chatter about a year or so ago. I think you even participated in a possible Ireland trip this weekend for Nebraska Volleyball. Any idea whatever happened all that? Um, pretty much I brought it up and? With, the previous, with the current AD and the previous AD. and Nothing? Never really got a call back or, or follow up or anything. It was just kind of like, yeah, okay. Would have been fun. Yeah. But well, it, I would have wanted to play Notre Dame over there. I had Notre Dame ready to go. They played were in. Irish. Sure. We probably would have drawn as big a crowd as football if the Irish were over there. But maybe someday in the future. Yeah. And I hear that the next foreign trip might be in Europe for Husker Volleyball well, rather than back to Asia. I'm telling you that. Uh, I don't want to give away my sources. I, <laughs> fall bad battery I need better sources you need better sources okay. yeah. <laughs> you love going to China but you're up for another trip pretty soon yeah next next spring and you're thinking China yeah because well China Japan would be first choice Brazil would be second choice but we'll have to see what the current world environment sure. is like at that point just higher quality volleyball in those yeah. parts of the world yeah you go to Europe it's a little more but Europe's a vacation this one brought to you by Dorothy Lynch, home style and light and lean dressing. Endless flavorabilities. And Nebraska 811 says, go dig red. Before you dig, always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free. It's easy. It is the law. Coach, are you going to start preparing for Texas A&M, Corpus Christi, and Tulsa's Golden Hurricane and Pepperdine Waves? Just going to... Just, uh, well, you'll be able to, to prepare for Tulsa and, Texas and uh, Pepperdine. You get to watch them play right. before you get to play them. But how about Texas A&M, Corpus Christi? Just kind of figure it out when you get yeah, there? We don't know. They have a couple of returning players or set of returns, so we got a couple things to go on. But it's first match. I mean, you just – it's about serving pass, don't make errors, you know, and, and try to play good, consistent volleyball. How tough is it for you to find high-quality non-conference competition? It's tough, but um, I'm fired up about it. I mean, we got a really tough non-conference schedule here. And then, then before we jump into the Big Ten, <laughs> that has four of, the six, four, of, four of the top six teams in the country, you know, ranked, plus another three in the top 20. But 
Um, Corpus Christi, <laughs> Corpus Christi is a uh, had a great year last year. Pepperdine, you said, finished second in their conference. They're coming back as the Haim sisters. So Nick, Nicklin's little sister plays for Pepperdine. Nice. So that'll be fun for their family. Uh, and Tulsa has been here a couple times before. They just like coming up here. I think they might have some Nebraska players, if I, if I'm not mistaken, or did. or uh, So they like coming here. And um, so it's a good opening weekend. And then, you know, um, every week it gets tougher and tougher. And the key is to find non-conference foes that will help your RPI at the end of the season, because that's what the tournament selection committee leans on. Well, what you don't want to – the thing that has hurt is when you play a team that ends up doing very poorly, it pulls your RPI down. So, you know, but it's hard to predict. And mm -hmm. But these are, these are all really solid programs, good coaches. And um, so, anyway, it's a great opening weekend. Uh, be good volleyball and fun for our fans. And – you know the the one Friday morning match, you know, get out of work and go to go to volleyball. So brunch with the big red. Yeah. Friday morning, eleven o'clock. Right. And this, employers, you just got to be understanding. Yeah. When I mean, your employees yeah. might be a little distracted. I mean, I, if I had a business running a business, yeah. I would give them Friday off for volleyball, and then we're and then we start start wearing green and get ready for Saturday for football. So it's heck of a sports weekend. I'd ask everyone in, and you know, Friday is kind of a, like a casual dress day. Everyone wear red. And pipe in the Husker Radio Network. Yeah, that's going to be a productive day. Yeah, those workers are going to get some stuff done. Yeah, on that day, <laughs> they might be doing like wind sprints before the game. Yeah, that'll get people fired up. I know people have weddings the same time we're playing, so it's not they, smart. Have, they have TVs on during smart. the wedding. Yeah, keep those vows low. I mean, you yeah. guys are distracting me. We're, we're in the middle of third set here. Yeah, <laughs> three team captains. You happy with the? Uh, with the three choices for uh, team captain, you got Maddie and you got Kenzie and Lexi Rodriguez. Yeah, Maddie and Kenzie have worked really hard uh, to put themselves in a leadership position. So great about that, and you know we challenged them starting in January because Nicklin wasn't still sure what she was doing. So we we couldn't wait around. We had to we had to go, and they've done a great job. Worked really really hard. Been super proud of them. And and then Lexi was named captain of her USA team, and. So we've been we've been encouraging her to try to have a leadership role after her freshman year because she was quiet. And Last year she was quiet. Yeah, and uh, so anyway, she got named captain of that USA team that won the Pan American Cup and has just built off of that confidence from being named captain, which that's a pretty big deal. Your captain of USA team playing an international tournament. That won that won the event. Yeah, and her her her. Her peers and teammates have recognized that, and and want want and the coaches too. That you know, we feel really good about having three captains. Is Lexi Rodriguez more vocal than ever now? Yeah, she's do, she's done great, and she speaks up, and you know. But the other thing is, it also, you know, uh, for us, it gives us some leadership going forward. We're developing another leader for down the road, and we got other leaders we're developing as well, but. Lexi's in the younger class because I think we only have one next year we only have one senior Ani so, so, so we're a pretty yeah. young team yeah, you got you got five players out of 14 that are that are upper class and they're super seniors and seniors and one junior I think and so yeah I got, I'll check no. but very very few players are freshmen and sophomore on this year's team I think it's just five on this year's team. And I'm wondering, but is is Maddie coming back next year? Oh, I I don't I have no idea. You don't you haven't even chatted with her no, about that. She's we're not thinking about that. You're focused on on twenty. She's in a master's program, and I mean, there's you know we got to see what happens and uh, where she's at with her personal life, school life. You know, does she want to go pro? Does she want to come back? Um, same with Kenzie. So we haven't really had those discussions and um, we, you know that's something you figure out after the season's over and see where they're at. Do the hopes and dreams of the Husker fan base come into play during these conversations occasionally? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, that, that would, you have to ask them that. Two super seniors, two seniors, and one junior. Yeah. Out of 14 players. I mean, you got yeah. nine underclassmen. Yeah. The middles, two freshman middles. How close is that competition? Very close. Those guys, I, I, if I had to pick one right now, I don't know who I would choose. Coach, the game's on Friday. I know. We'll see. But they're, they're both 
doing really, really well, and they both compete really hard. They both can serve. Um, Maggie just got here. She's supposed to be a senior in high school. She's, yeah, but she's caught you, up to Becca already. Yeah, and remember, she's, she played all summer. She played basketball, and then she went to vault and played in a, a big tournament, Pan American Cup, for her age group. So she's, she has the most playing experience going into fall camp here. Why do you and, and Coach Williams think that she can do both sports effectively when player after player who have tried this in the past haven't had a lot of success at both sports? Yeah, she's, uh, you know, she's, first of all, she's wired for it. Um, she's done it club. I mean, she plays club during basketball. She plays basketball during, I mean, club basketball during volleyball club. I mean, she's, all, she's been used to this, so she's doing it. Uh, and I think she wants to try both. Now, will she go all, all four or five years? I'm probably not, but we'll see. I mean, it would be epic if she did. Uh, but uh, she wants to try it, and you've got you to give her credit for doing that. How often are these two-sport athletes coming your way that require you and Coach Williams to work together, as you recall? Oh, this is a f once a decade. 402-413-2400. Final thoughts for your Nebraska Volleyball Show after you hear this. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks. Foundation solutions crafted with pride. The official foundation company of the Huskers. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. Families who travel to Nebraska's only Ronald McDonald House are facing extremely uncomfortable situations. Their child is sick in an unfamiliar city, unsure of how to handle it all. But when they walk in the Ronald McDonald House, they can find comfort in the little things. A quiet moment away from the bombardment of beeps and buzzes in a hospital room. The taste of a home-cooked meal. A calming voice saying it'll be okay. Help us provide the little things that make a big difference. Support a one-night stay for a family in need by visiting rmhcomaha.org slash huskers. Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Got it! Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride. The official foundation company of the Huskers. Welcome back to your Nebraska Volleyball Show. Questions pouring in on uh, the text line, 402-413-2400. I'm looking over this year's press guide, and I'm seeing Russ Rose was on the staff back in 1978. Can this be true? Yes. Yep. Russ he, Rose was a Husker. A lot of curly hair back then. Yeah. Yeah. And he has lots of stories coaching 
phys ed at Mabel Lee Hall, and his former students would gather before Husker Penn State games and, and chat with their former teacher, Russ Rose. Yeah, I, I saw it all the time when he was here. He would be down there hanging yeah. out with them. He came out early for the yeah. game to start talking to his old yeah. students. Yeah, he'd be out there an hour and a half before the match talking to everybody. And we do that at Penn State, too. He'd come out to sit in the crowd. And he does sit in the crowd there, <laughs> yeah. And, sit and, and chat with them. Yeah. The Big Ten without Russ Rose. I know. Got to go back to the President Carter era in the late 70s. <laughs> I mean, the U.S. president, not the University of Nebraska president. Yeah. It's an amazing era. Yeah. Uh, he, he, amazing that he, his longevity, 40, 44 years. Is that what it was? Wow. Yeah, 44 years since 1978. Wow. Uh, it's Happy Valley. And he's, he's still involved, but no longer the, the head coach. And meanwhile, it, 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 from Art in Los Angeles, what teams concern you the most on your schedule this year? Let's go non-conference. Stanford, Kentucky? Well, Stanford, Kentucky, Creighton. I mean, that's, you're, that's you're those are all top 10 teams, top 15 teams. And they all have top, they're all top 10 teams. Uh, and then, um, you know, Long Beach, Tyler's going to have those guys going. Uh, Ole Miss, Kayla's going to have them going. So Kelly Schwartz and Mark will be back. Yeah. She'll be ready to yeah. roll. Yeah. So, I mean, it, and then the Big Ten, everybody's good. Everybody's got players. Everybody's good. you got to go on the road. Uh, there's no easy night. So, it's just, you know, you're, it's uh, college volleyball is getting very, very competitive. And it's going to come down to a lot of close games. And we lost, you know, we lost 15 two-point games last year. Over the season, just think if we won half of those or three quarters of those. Who gives you more uh, concern, uh, Ohio State or Wisconsin? You play them both twice this year. <laughs> I can't pick. They're it's early. It's they're early. both they're both top top five right now. Sam in Omaha wants the student section to be changed to Cook's Stable. <laughs> what do you think? Love it, love it. All right. They might they might like that. But we're gonna have those guys ramped up, man. There, I can, the students? I can already feel it just from the red white. I mean, we had the student section was full, and they're they're ramped they're up, hopping, ready to they're go. They're hopping, they're swaying. Yeah, they got two leaders that are great. They're doing a great job. And everyone's getting along. Everyone yeah. seems to be focused, and no one's working on the thesis or anything. They're just like, yeah, they're, we're we're gonna get them shirts and make them feel a part of it. And then once the match is over, boom, yeah, they're all going to Love Library. I mean, yeah. you can just see it. it's like, let's, yeah. So they're looking for three game sweeps. <laughs> Tulsa Friday night, Pepperdine Saturday night, and 11 a.m. Texas A&M Corpus Christi Islanders. Corpus Christi is Latin. Oh, really? For Body of Christ. Oh, wow. So is it, is it a Catholic school or uh, religious no, 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 school? No. Or? <laughs> the city is named after. Oh, it. the city Latin is. For, okay. Uh, but uh, at Texas A&M, so public. Oh, okay. Public uh, university down there in Texas, and they were 19 and 10 last year, so. And you're number one in the country, Coach. Everyone's yeah. going to be geared oh, yeah. up for the Huskers. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing changes there. We'll see you Friday, 11 a.m. Morning matches have been a little tricky you know, over the years. You got that right. Remember, uh, oh, oh, we'll have it for you. We'll, 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 we'll look through the morning starts so, over the years. Always, oh, so morning matches are always fun. Thanks, Coach. All right, JB. That's uh, head coach John Cook. That's your Nebraska Volleyball Show. I'm John Baylor. 11 a.m. start. Brunch with Big Red Friday. Good night, Nebraska. up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska is proud to support Husker athletics. Having a competent teammate beside you makes all the difference when it comes to protecting what matters most. With a proven track record of dependable coverage, unmatched financial strength, and a prompt claim service team right here in Nebraska, that's insurance kept local. Visit FMNE.com to contact an agent for a quote today. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska, always alongside you. At CHI Health Clinic, we believe health care should be personal because knowing your provider personally makes appointments more comfortable, more productive, and more meaningful to your overall health. Get matched with a primary care provider based on your personality and lifestyle using CHI Health Clinic's My Provider Match. Take the survey at myprovidermatch.com to find the right provider for you. Getting healthier starts by getting personal at CHI Health Clinic. 
Seasons change, but your land stays the same. You need the right solutions to keep you moving. That's why you rely on Acres Equipment, your premier John Deere dealership and proud partner of Nebraska Athletics. Whether you're harvesting, protecting your crops, feeding the herd, maintaining your lawn, improving your business, or letting off some steam, Acres has what you need to get the job done. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker.